Welcome back everybody. Today we're going to take a look at this 10 gallon Red Wiggler worm bin. We have not fed these guys in four weeks. Actually tomorrow will be a day shy of four weeks. So I'm not quite sure what we'll find. As you can see here, the worms have been enjoying the cardboard that's been on the top here. There's lots of worms sticking to it and underneath it. So let's move this off to the side. This as well. And let's dig in here. Let's aerate the spin and mix everything up and give these worms a good feeding that they deserve. Especially after a four week break. They probably had the opportunity to go through some of the material that takes a little bit longer or that they usually don't get to. So, so sometimes a longer break is good. So we have this avocado, no, not avocado. This is the mango shell, half of it that we broke in half. And now you can see it's easily coming apart into pieces now, which is really good. Oh, there's some cardboard pieces in here as well. Let's break that up. Mix everything together. Here's some egg carton. This is a piece of some egg carton that we placed in some time ago. And you know what's interesting that I'm seeing here? This is the skin of a tomato, a baby tomato, that we put in here who knows how long ago. And even... Though we didn't check in here for four weeks, it's still here. Looks like the worms don't like the skin. Or they don't prefer it, actually. So let's give everything a good mix. Here's another piece of a mango seed that's easily breaking apart now into smaller pieces. So that's wonderful. Of course, there's no more food left. Nothing for them to consume. The worms are kind of spread out throughout the bin on the hunt for food. So they won't have to hunt any longer. We're gonna give them a big, nice feeding today. I think we're gonna go right in the center. So let's make some space right here. First off, we're going to put that paper and lay it here that was on the top. And there's that mango seed that I see on top, so I'll place that there. And then I have some broken apart egg carton here as well. So we'll use this as bedding today. It's dry, but once we put the feeding on top, as it defrosts, it will definitely soak up in that moisture from the frozen food scraps. So let's feed these guys. I have some banana peels. Here's another one. And then there were some grapes left over in this bag. I have three bags. They're not all full, of course, but there's a whole zucchini. And then here we just have some lettuce and some carrot and some celery ends. Well, like carrot peels. And then here are some celery ends as well. So we've got a good variety here for this feeding. Let's move this worm away so it doesn't get frozen. I have lots of coffee, but we won't put in the whole bowl. Just maybe half of it. Perfect. It's already starting to get moldy. It was sitting on my counter for a little bit of time. So the worms will love that, just breaking it apart. Perfect. Let's sprinkle on some grit. And now that's a feeding for these guys. They definitely needed it, wanted it, deserved it, all of the above. So let's just cover it up like so. There's a lot of worms in this bin. I'm seeing a lot of babies as well, just sticking in some of those avocado shells 
down underneath. And then let's use this paper bag here in the center and we'll place the plastic covering back on. And now the worms are fed, the bedding has been fluffed, and hopefully they're happy now, especially after a four week break. I hope you guys enjoyed this feeding, and I will see you guys next time. Have a lovely day. Bye bye. Mm -hmm.